Samantha Ray stood at the edge of the misty forest, heart pounding against her ribcage as she lifted her emerald eyes to the waning crescent moon. An icy breeze tugged at her raven hair, carrying the scent of loam and secrets long buried. Her mother's final words echoed in her mind. Find the grimoire, Samantha. It's the only way to stop him. Spoken with a trembling, blood-flecked breath before the light faded from her eyes forever. Hot tears stung Samantha's cheeks as she gazed down at the pendant clutched in her fist, a crescent moon entwined with a pentagram. The key to her heritage, her destiny. A destiny her mother had died to protect. They'd come in the dead of night, cloaked figures with eyes like obsidian and voices like tombstones. Powerful warlocks, led by a man whose aura crackled with ancient malevolence. Samantha had watched, frozen, as they dragged her mother from her bed, demanding a grimoire she swore she didn't have. But Lenore was no ordinary woman. She was a witch, descended from a long line of magical women stretching back to the Salem trials. A lineage kept secret from everyone, even Samantha. Until now. Your birthright, Lenore had gasped, pressing the pendant into Samantha's hand as the life bled from her. Find your power. Stop Malachi before he destroys everything. Malachi, thought Akai. The name sent a shiver down Samantha's spine. Her father, long presumed dead. A man she'd never met, but whose shadow had haunted her all her life. And now, she knew why. He wasn't just a warlock, he was a monster. A blight upon the earth itself. And only Samantha could stop him. Squaring her shoulders, she stepped into the forest, dead leaves crunching beneath her boots. She had no idea where to start looking for this grimoire. No idea how to wield the magic her mother claimed flowed in her very blood. But she had to try. For her mother. For the world. A twig snapped behind her. Samantha whirled, hard in her throat, to see a figure emerge from the shadows. Tall and lean, with hair like a moonless night, and eyes the color of a winter sea. Power rolled off him in waves, raising the hairs on her nape. Samantha Ray, he said voice smooth as aged whiskey and just as intoxicating. I've been waiting a long time for you. She swallowed hard, fingers tightening around the pendant. Who are you? A faint smile touched his sensual mouth. Rowan Blackwood, Danielle. Your soulmate in this life and a hundred before. Samantha's heart stuttered. Impossible. And yet, some deep part of her knew it was true. Knew him, like a half-remembered dream. He held out a hand, palm up. An offering and a challenge. Come with me if you want to live. If you want to avenge your mother and claim your birthright. His gaze burned into hers. It won't be easy. You'll be tested in ways you never imagined. The road ahead is paved with blood and heartbreak. Samantha lifted her chin, green eyes flashing. I'm not afraid. Oh? But you should be. Rowan stepped closer, until she could feel the heat of him, the magnetic pull of his aura. Malachi will hunt you to the ends of the earth. He'll use anyone and anything to get his hands on the grimoire's power. His gaze softened, fingers grazing her cheek in a touch that seared her very soul. Including me. Especially me. Samantha caught his wrist, pulse thundering beneath her fingertips. I don't understand. If we were, what we were, in past lives, why would you help him? Pain etched his features. He bound me. Centuries ago? I cannot disobey him, no matter how much I might wish to. He looked away, jaw clenched. I am his weapon to wield. His hound to unleash upon the world. Tears blurred Samantha's vision. To be so trapped, so alone subject to the whims of a monster wearing her father's face. She couldn't imagine the strength it took just to stand before her now, to offer what help he could, knowing the price he'd pay. Slowly, she twined her fingers with his. Then we break the bonds. Together. I won't leave you to suffer in the dark. Not again. His answering smile held a millennium of grief and longing. You always were a stubborn witch. 
He raised their joined hands to his lips, breath ghosting across her knuckles. It's why I fell in love with you, in the first place. Why I'll love you until time itself burns out. Something deep in Samantha's soul seemed to sigh in recognition. Yes. This. Him. Across oceans of time, chasms of fate, they'd always find each other. No matter the odds. No matter the risk. Rowan straightened, all business once more. But Samantha could still feel the echo of his touch, his promise, like a brand upon her skin. We need to move. Malachi has eyes everywhere. She fell into step beside him, determination crystallizing in her chest. For her mother. For Rowan, dot und. For the chance to forge their own fate, untethered by the sins of the father. Overhead, a raven winged through the skeletal trees, black as a curse against the blood-red moon. An omen and a warning. The hunt was on, and heaven help any who stood in Samantha Ray's way. The forest seemed to close in around them as they walked, branches grasping like gnarled fingers and shadows pooling like spilled ink. Samantha shivered, drawing her jacket tighter around herself. Rowan moved silently beside her, a dark sentinel whose very presence both comforted and electrified her. Where are we going? She asked, voice hushed in the sepulchral stillness. There's a safe house not far from here, Rowan replied, scanning the tree line with those piercing eyes. We can regroup there, try to get our bearings. Samantha nodded, throat tight. She still couldn't quite wrap her mind around it all. Her mother's murder, her own latent towers, the soulmate who'd walked out of shadows and stolen her breath. It felt like a dream, or a nightmare. One she couldn't seem to wake from. Rowan must have sensed her turmoil, because he reached out and took her hand, lacing their fingers together. That simple touch grounded her, anchored her in the maelstrom. She met his gaze, and the understanding she found there made her heart ache. I know it's a lot, he said softly. But you're not alone, Samantha. I'm with you every step of the way. Tears stung her eyes. Even if it means betraying Malachi? Defying the bonds that enslave you? Pain flickered across his chiseled features. I would endure a thousand lifetimes of torment to keep you safe. He cupped her face in his hands, thumbs brushing her cheekbones. You are my North Star, Samantha Ray. My one, true constant, in an eternity of darkness. Samantha surged up on her toes and captured his mouth with hers, pouring all her fear and longing into the kiss. Rowan responded with a groan, pulling her flush against him as he deepened the embrace. It was a collision of souls, a homecoming and a reckoning all in one. When they finally broke apart, both breathing hard, Samantha felt something unfurl inside her. A seed of hope, of purpose. She might be new to this world of magic and shadows, but she was no longer adrift. She had an anchor now, a lodestar to guide her. Together they forged ahead, leaves whispering secrets as they passed. Before long, they came to a small cabin nestled amongst the trees, its weathered boards nearly blending into the forest itself. Rowan approached cautiously, one hand outstretched, fingers splayed. A whispered word, and the door swung open with a creak. Inside, the air smelled of sage and cedar, of time and knowledge. Books lined the walls, their spines cracked and faded. Jars of herbs and tinctures crowded the shelves, and in the center of the room stood a scarred wooden table strewn with maps and ancient tomes. My aunt's place, Rowan explained, shrugging out of his coat. They were powerful witches, but they vanished years ago. Grief shadowed his eyes. I've been searching for them ever since. Samantha laid a hand on his arm, heart twisting in sympathy. How much more loss could one man take? We'll find them, she promised. Just like we'll find the grimoire. He covered her hand with his, smiling faintly. Your optimism never fails to humble me. They set to work, poring over the maps and books for any clue to the grimoire's location or Malachi's next move. Hours bled together, marked only by the guttering of candles and the brush of hands as they passed aged parchment back and forth. It was nearing dawn when Samantha finally straightened, rubbing gritty eyes. 
There has to be something we're missing. Some place we haven't thought to look. Rowan frowned, gaze distant. Then, slowly, realization dawned. Of course, he breathed. Blackwood Manor. My family's ancestral home. Samantha's brow furrowed. You think the grimoire is there? No, duo. Bye. But I think Malachi might be. Rowan began gathering up books, shoving them into a weathered satchel. It's where we last faced each other, where he bound me. He knows it would be like salt in the wound for me to return there. Dread coiled in Samantha's stomach. Then and it's definitely a trap. Most assuredly. Rowan met her gaze, jaw set. But it's also our best chance to catch him off guard when he thinks he has the upper hand. Samantha took a deep breath, squaring her shoulders. All right then. Blackwood Manor it is. They set off as the sun breached the horizon, painting the world in shades of blood and fire. Rowan knew the way by heart, leading them through dense thickets and over babbling brooks. All the while, he told Samantha of the history woven into this land, the spells cast, the lives lost, the eternal dance of dark and light. But always, always, the love that bound two souls across centuries. A warlock and his witch, destined to rise and fall like the tide, destined to find each other again and again, even as the world burned down around them. By the time Blackwood Manor loomed before them, a crumbling gothic monstrosity wreathed in fog, Samantha felt that love thrumming through her veins. It was an armor and a weapon, a north star and a battle cry. She reached for Rowan's hand as they climbed the cracked marble steps, and he laced his fingers tightly with hers. No matter what waited beyond those dark doors, they would face it together. In this life, and all the rest. But as Rowan reached for the rusted knocker, the door swung open of its own accord. Shadows seemed to pour out, and a figure stepped into the sickly light. Tall and gaunt, with eyes like chips of flint, and a smile like a razor. Welcome home, my wayward son. Malachi's voice was a snake's hiss, his gaze flicking to Samantha. And you brought your little witch, too. How terribly romantic. Rowan pushed Samantha behind him, power crackling around him like a gathering storm. Your quarrel is with me, Malachi. Leave her be. Oh, I rather think not. Malachi descended the steps slowly, relishing each word. She is the key to everything, don't you see? The last daughter of Lenore Ray. The only one who can unlock the grimoire's true power. His smile widened, bearing teeth. And the only leverage I need to ensure your eternal obedience. Samantha's heart hammered against her ribs, but she stepped out from behind Rowan, chin high. I won't let you use me as a pawn in your twisted games. Foolish girl. Malachi chuckled darkly. You have no choice. The blood oath that binds Rowan binds you as well. You cannot fight your own father. Shock crashed through Samantha, cold as a winter wave. What? Oh, yes. Malachi spread his arms, a mocking ringmaster. Did mommy never tell you the truth about your parentage? How she came to me on a night much like this, lost and lovely and so very desperate for the power I could give her. By burned Samantha's throat, revulsion twisting with the horrible certainty that he wasn't lying. That was why she'd been kept in the dark all these years. Why Lenore had guarded the secret of her lineage closer than her own heart. You're my monster, she choked out. Yes. Malachi's eyes glittered. And soon you will be too. It is your destiny, daughter. Your birthright. He crooked a finger, and Samantha felt her legs move of their own volition, dragging her forward. Rowan lunged for her with a shout, but an unseen force slammed him back against the door, pinning him like a butterfly on a card. Now then, Malachi purred, cupping Samantha's chin as she struggled against his hold. Let's see about awakening that lovely darkness inside you, shall we? Pain exploded behind Samantha's eyes, white hot and blinding. Images ripped through her mind, Rowan screaming as red hot chains seared his flesh. Lenore sobbing as she sliced open her palm and let the blood drip onto cracked parchment, a baby wailing in a circle of candles as shadows swirled closer. 
Somewhere distantly, she could hear Rowan roaring her name, feel the manor shudder on its foundations, as he hurled bolt after bolt of magic at Malachi. But her father's laughter echoed louder, scraping over her very soul. Don't fight it, Samantha, he crooned. Embrace who you were born to be. A creature of shadow and spite, of venom and vendetta. It is the only way to save your precious warlock. The darkness crested, a towering wave poised to drag her under. And Samantha knew with cold certainty that if she let it take her, she would be lost forever. Malachi's creature, fashioned in his own twisted image. She thought of her mother, dying to protect this secret. Of Rowan, fighting for centuries to shield her from this fate. Their love, their sacrifice, giving her the strength to do what must be done. With a scream of defiance, Samantha wrenched free of Malachi's grasp. Power exploded from her in a shockwave of blinding emerald, sending him crashing back through the doorway. The force pinning Rowan vanished, and he dropped to the ground, chest heaving. No, Samantha said, in a voice that rang with a thousand lifetimes. I am not your creature, father. I am not your anything. She advanced on Malachi, light pouring from her eyes, her skin. I am Samantha Ray, daughter of Lenore, descendant of witches. And I choose my own fate. Wind whipped around her, tearing at her hair and clothes. In her mind's eye, she could see generations stretching behind her. Mothers and daughters, covens and circles, all lending their strength as she lifted her hands and spoke three words that shook the earth. Ego. Relinquo, dotty, de nami, canem they, kick sing on, to and you. Thus, I, release, you. Malachi screamed as the blood oath shattered, chains of fire snapping like silk threads. His body seemed to rupture, shadows pouring out like fleeing rats as the manor quaked and crumbled around them. This isn't over, he hissed, eyes burning with bale fire. I will return and I will have what is owed me. Then he was gone, leaving nothing but a scorched circle on the stones. Samantha collapsed to her knees, power receding like an ebbing tide. Strong arms wrapped around her and she sagged into Rowan's embrace, tears streaking her face. You did it, he murmured into her hair, voice raw with awe and love. You beat him, Samantha. You saved us both. She smiled through her tears, tilting her face up to his. No, my love. We saved each other. As we always have. As we always will. And there, amidst the ruins of the past, Samantha Ray kissed her soulmate under a dawning sky. A witch and her warlock, bound by a fate they would write themselves, in ink and blood and starlight. The battle was far from over. But for now, for this moment, they had everything they needed. Magic. And each other. The days turned to weeks, as Samantha and Rowan licked their wounds and regrouped, never straying far from each other's orbit. They pored over ancient texts and whispered incantations, honing Samantha's newfound powers into a weapon she could wield with precision and intent. But always, the specter of Malachi hung over them, a dark cloud promising a darker storm. They knew he would return, knew the final confrontation was looming on the blood-red horizon. And so they prepared, plotting and planning, training and tender in equal measure. It was on a night when the moon hung swollen and sullen in the sky, that the call came, a psychic summons that lanced through Samantha's mind like a bolt of icy fire. Malachi demanding she come to where it all began, the forest clearing where Lenore had breathed her last. Rowan pleaded with her not to go, eyes wild with fear, and remembered pain. But Samantha cupped his face in her hands, resolute. I have to end this, she whispered. For my mother. For you. For every life, he's tainted with his poison. Tears spilled down Rowan's cheeks as he rested his forehead against hers. I can't lose you. Not again. You won't. Samantha brushed her lips over his, a promise and a prayer. I'm coming back to you, Rowan Blackwood. In this life, and all the rest. The forest seemed to shudder, as she stepped into the clearing, shadows twisting like living things. Malachi stood in the center, hand wrapped around the hilt of a wicked-looking dagger. 
At his feet lay the grimoire, pages fluttering in a phantom breeze. My darling daughter, he purred, a cruel smile playing about his lips. So good of you to join me on this momentous night. Samantha fought down a shudder of revulsion. This ends here, Malachi et al. Your reign of terror, your cycle of destruction. It stops now. Silly girl. Malachi shook his head, almost pitying. You still don't understand, do you? There is no end to this story. Only new beginnings penned in blood and bone. He gestured to the grimoire with the dagger. With this, I will reshape the very fabric of reality. Bend the forces of life and death to my will. And you, my sweet Samantha, will rule at my side. My dark princess, my crowning glory. I will never join you, Samantha spat, power sparking at her fingertips. I will fight you with every breath in my body, every beat of my heart. So be it. Malachi lunged, dagger flashing in the sickly moonlight. Samantha threw up her hands, a shield of emerald energy sizzling to life before her. The dagger glanced off it with a shower of sparks and a snarl from Malachi. They traded blows across the clearing, magic crackling and snapping, scorching the earth black. Samantha could feel her strength waning, could feel the ancient evil of this place seeping into her bones like frost. Malachi's laughter echoed in her ears, taunting, goading. You're weak, he hissed, driving her back with a blast of inky power. Just like your mother. Just like every witch who came before you. Destined to break, destined to fall. Samantha's back hit a tree, bark biting into her skin. Malachi loomed over her, dagger poised over her heart. Any last words, daughter mine? Samantha looked past him to the grimoire lying abandoned in the dirt. And she smiled, fierce and feral. Just three, she whispered. Lux, die. Verum. Victorium. Light, dot. Truth. Victory. The grimoire burst into flames, pages curling and crumbling to ash. Malachi screamed, whirling around, dagger falling from numb fingers. No. What have you done? What I had to. Samantha pushed away from the tree, blood singing with power. That book was the source of your strength, your immortality. And now it's gone. Malachi rounded on her, face a mask of hatred and disbelief. You think this changes anything? I am your father, your master. I will rip the magic from your veins and leave you a husk, I will. His words choked off as Samantha thrust out a hand, invisible chains snaking around his throat and slamming him to his knees. She stood over him, tall and terrible, wreathed in light. You are not my father, she said, each word ringing with finality. You are not my anything. You are a blight on this earth, a festering wound. And I am the cauterizing flame. She pressed her hand to his chest, over the shriveled husk of his heart. Ego, ego. Condemno. Thus. I. Condemn. You. Oh. oh. Malachi howled as white-hot fire consumed him from the inside out, flesh sloughing from bone, bone crumbling to dust. In moments, all that remained was a scorched outline on the forest floor, and a sense of long-awaited peace settling over the clearing. Samantha turned as Rowan burst through the trees, eyes wild, hair tangled with leaves. He froze at the sight before him, understanding and awe dawning on his face. Is it over? He breathed. Yes. Samantha held out her hand, smiling through sudden tears. We're free, my love. Finally, finally free. Rowan crossed to her in three strides, sweeping her into his arms and spinning her around as startled laughter bubbled up her throat. When he set her down, his eyes were shining. Marry me, he said hands cupping her face like she was the most precious thing in the world. Here now, in the sight of the goddess and every power that ever was. Be mine, Samantha Ray, for all eternity. Joy expanded in Samantha's chest like a star gone supernova. Yes, she whispered against his lips. Yes, yes, always yes.
They spoke the ancient vows there amidst the trees, hands bound with strips of cloth from their clothing, magic their witness and benediction. When it was done, when Rowan kissed her with a tenderness that made fresh tears spill down her cheeks, Samantha knew she had finally found her home. Her place. Purpose. They set off through the forest hand in hand, bruised and bloodied but luminous with love's light. Behind them, the shadow of Blackwood Manor crumbled to dust, the echoes of Malachi's screams fading into oblivion. Ahead, the sun broke over the horizon, painting the world in shades of hope and promise. Samantha tipped her face up to the light, drinking in the dawn of a new day, a new life. She was Samantha Ray, witch, warrior, wife, descendant of legends, forger of her own fate. And she would never, ever stop fighting for the light, for a love that transcended time and death and destiny itself. For the magic that lived in her very bones, her very breath. The magic of a new beginning.